Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, I want to talk to you about creating your first site in Hexo. So we're going to create our site, and then we're going to run our site, and we're going to see how it looks on our web browser. And then finally, I'm just going to walk you through some of the folder structures and the files that Hexo creates by default. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding of how to get your Hexo project started. The first thing I want to do is head down to my terminal. And I just have a terminal window here in my text editor. And in order to create your Hexo site, you have to create it through this terminal. They call it the Hexo CLI, the Hexo command line interface. And we have to use that Hexo, Hexo CLI in order to create our Hexo project. So down here, I just want to type out Hexo in it. And then I want to type out the name of the project that I want to create. So this would be like the name of your Hexo project. I'm going to name my Hexo project just GA Hexo, just like that for Draft Academy Hexo. And I'm going to click Enter. And what Hexo is going to start doing is it's going to start running a bunch of different commands and it's going to start going out to the internet and grabbing a bunch of default files and it's going to do some stuff with Node.js. This should take maybe like a minute and Hexo will grab everything it needs to put your site together. Once Hexo is done installing, you should get this message here, basically just saying that you're ready to go. And if you look over here, this is my folder structure. This new folder got created called GA Hexo. And remember, that's what I named my original Hexo project. In here, there's a bunch of folders and files. And in a second, we're going to go through what each one of these folders and files is and talk a little bit about what they do. First, though, before we do that, I want to show you how right off the bat, you can just start using your Hexo site. So the first thing we want to do is go into that new directory that we created. So CD into GA Hexo. And now I want to run a Hexo server command. This is a special command that you can run with Hexo. And it looks just like that. And basically what this does is it takes your Hexo website and it serves it up onto a local web server on your computer. So normally it's called localhost. So when I click enter, Hexo is going to go over to the website that I have set up. It's going to grab all those files and combine them together into my Hexo website. So I'm going to click enter. And you'll see that Hexo is now running the website at localhost 4000. So this is just localhost is the local uh, web server that's on your computer. And 4000 refers to the port number. Over in my browser, you'll see that I have this page loaded up. So this is localhost 4000. This is the default theme that Hexo ships with. So you just saw me create the Hexo project and without doing anything, I already have this awesome website and it looks pretty nice. Down here, you'll see that we have one file. It's this hello world file. But other than that, there's not really a whole lot of content on here. And so basically this is like a bare bones Hexo project. So now that we've looked at running Hexo and we're running this Hexo server, let's talk about some of these default files and folders that got created for us. One thing you don't want to do is don't get too intimidated just because there's lots of stuff here and there's lots of different file extensions. doesn't mean that any of this is like complicated or that it's going to go over your head. A lot of this stuff's really simple. This first folder right here, it's called node modules. And this is a pretty intimidating looking folder. But actually, you don't really need to touch this folder. This folder is used by Node.js. And so basically, uh, Hexo is built on Node.js. And so Hexo is going to use some of the stuff that's in this folder in order to run. So you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, but don't get rid of this folder because you definitely need it. You just don't need to do anything inside of it. Next is the scaffolds folder. Scaffolds folder is basically like the templates that the content pages on your website use. So inside of here, we have three markdown files. And these are all basically content templates. So whenever you create new content on your Hexo site, before that content gets created, it's going to go into this scaffolds folder and find the type of content that you want to create. So maybe you want to write like a blog post or you want to write a web page or you just want to write a draft. Hexo will go inside of here, find the template for that particular type of page and use it. We're going to talk all about scaffolds in a future in a future video. Next is the source folder. The source folder is probably the folder that you're going to be working with the most. 
this is the folder that you put all of your content in. If you were starting a blog, for example, and you wanted a place to store all your all, all of your blog posts, you put them inside of this source folder. And in here, there's another subfolder called underscore posts. And this is where you would put your blog posts. You could also put other types of content in here. So for example, if you had draft pages, which would use this draft scaffold, you could put them in there. If you had just normal web pages you that would use this scaffold, you could put them in this source folder as well. Next is the themes folder. And the themes folder is the place that you store your website theme. Over on our website, you'll notice that by default, Hexo is already like styled. There's different elements over here. This looks pretty good, right? It's a, it's a good looking website. And that's because by default, Hexo is using a theme. And this theme is called Landscape. This is the default theme. If you want, you can download other themes or you can even create your own theme, but any themes are going to get stored inside of this themes folder. The next file is arguably most, the most important file in this entire project, which is the config.yaml file. This is essentially like the settings for your entire Hexo website. And you'll notice there's different attributes in here. These are basically just variables that you're storing about your site. So you can give like the title of your site, subtitle description, if you scroll down, this is a pretty big file and this has a bunch of different attributes and Boolean values that you can toggle in order to control your website. So uh, for example, here's something called theme and you'll notice that landscape is typed after it, right? So this controls which theme is being used by your website. And there's a bunch of different things just like that, uh, that this config.yaml file does. So this is a very important file and throughout this course, we're gonna be modifying and editing this file in order to change up our site and, and do different things. The next three files are really not super important for you to use for your Hexo site. This .git ignore file, this is a file that's used by Git and it's basically just determining which folders and files that Git needs to pay attention to. This db.json file is basically, again, just a file that you're not gonna have to worry about too much. Then this package.json file, this is a, a file that's used by Node.js and you'll notice in here we have this dependencies section and there's a bunch of stuff here related to Hexo. This just controls like how Hexo is using Node.js. So really you don't want to touch this. Don't touch this package.json file. You can just leave it there. So that's a, a basic overview of all of the different folders and files that you get inside your Hexo project by default. Don't, again, don't get intimidated just because there's a lot of stuff here. Throughout this course, we're gonna talk about all of these uh, folders, specifically the scaffolds folder, the source folder, and the themes folder, and then also the config.yaml file. So stick around for the rest of the course and you'll learn how to leverage all of these folders and use them in Hexo. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.